Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, the only microphone on this side, Mr. There's a um, I'm sorry, technical difficulties. We have to go to that side. Sorry. Yeah, uh, my name is Alex Zimmerman, and I represent Stand Up America. Are you listening to me? Yes, I would like for you to speak up a bit. Okay, yeah. And I want to speak about agenda. You want to speak about what? About agenda. Uh, this agenda is very important, so before we start speaking about this agenda, I want to talk about mental evaluation. We totally confuse about your mental condition. You three times cut us a microphone, a few times don't give us talking about agenda. It is very um, bad for us, uh, because um, I don't know uh, how we can have support from council. Uh, for example, from council, uh, what is represent minority, is supposed to be support us by 100% and refuse doing this for 100% and minority in my situation right now is very big problem harm, you know what it means, and we start to represent minority, poor people, disabled people, senior citizen, students. So this is a big problem what is we have. So we want to speak about mental evaluation people who work for government. This is very important because I don't buy, I don't think so somebody did this for last 30 years and I'm very confused because this can be IQ close to 60 and nobody know how your IQ are. This is this number one? And number two, for dozen and dozen complain what is we make with you and I make a more for 20 years in King Country, in Bellevue, in the state. I never have one positive answer, no one positive word. It's very interesting, as government, 100% is right. I never see this before in my life. I spent 20 years in school, have many university degrees. I read 1,000 books in my life. I'm a businessman for 45 years. And I never see this before in my life. How is this possible? Hundred percentage people who work for government, hundred percentage right. Who you guys? It's normal human beings supposed to be a mistake. I never see one business in my life who never make mistake. Guys, forgive me. It's exactly what is we want talking. We want talking about your mental condition. Because hundred percentage right? Never you have one positive word, not for one complaint what is we have. It makes us look very strange. Sir, your two minutes are uh, up, and I'd like to indicate that. Uh, so two minutes gone? Yeah. How oh, I know this? Where well, is this? Because uh, Where you I should know it this? very Where well, because uh, we, we use the same system every week. And according to my records, oh, I over, see, I see, I see. Over because in Seattle, for example, Mr. it's a Mr. watch, so watch I can see. In yeah. Bellevue, watch I can see. This I yeah, cannot see. Here watch. Is the sound that you should. So be. I don't know how much I have. Thirty seconds, Mr. fifteen seconds before, so can I you touch or go on? You should be very familiar run. with our system because over the last three months. So this months, is exactly what is I told to you. You have a problem. Times. You have a mental problem. You have a business problem. Hundred percent, it's not working. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, now, I would like to uh, call on Councilmember Haig to move this item. Uh, it is an ordinance, and as I said, uh, with the proceeding uh, ordinance that we uh, allow for a public hearing, and there are folks in the uh, public who have signed up. Uh, I just ask that the folks who signed up speak specifically uh, to the ordinance that's before us. And with that, uh, I'd like to see if Mia Jacobson, uh, Sam Bellamio, and Alex Zimmerman would like to take that podium over here. I'm sorry, we don't have. Um, Mia, uh, proceed. What would you like to say about this ordinance? Um, good afternoon, council members. Um, I am running out of ways to say that my generation has lost faith in the government precisely because it seems like you don't care. We desperately need to talk to our representatives, and right now there is no opportunity to do that. Private meetings do not hold our government accountable for their actions. 
and the apathetic behavior of our council members to these concerns is deeply disturbing. Like how none of you guys are looking at me while I'm speaking. How there seems to be no response to these really, really intense concerns that I'm, I've been communicating with to you for the past couple months. There have been, you haven't been able to meet with us, you haven't, and it's really, really disturbing. Um, and by not allowing an open dialogue between the people and their representatives, you are condemning us to continue along the same path we're on, and we can all see where that path leads us. There needs to be a fundamental change in the way our government interacts with the people. We need to talk to one another and to listen to one another. And for the past, I've spoken the last two times I've been escorted out by security because I haven't been speaking specifically to your agenda, but this is never on your agenda. The fact that we feel that there's no opportunity for public conversation, we don't know where you guys are coming from, you don't know where we're coming from because there's no opportunity to talk. And that's why we continue to ask you for an open meeting every month that has an agenda, that has no agenda, so we can, so the public can come in and openly engage you about the concerns that they have, rather than the agenda that you create. And again, you guys are not talk, not looking at me, so it just seems like you don't care. I mean, thank you, Ms. McDermott. You are one out of one out of seven or six. So, thank you. And I guess that's all. I, all right. I wish you guys would change your behavior. <clears throat> Hello, Council Members. My name is Sam Bellamy. I'm with Stand Up America, and as a group, I'd like to continue what Mia said, but um, we don't believe that the King County Council has the ability to propose any ordinance. Uh, the very process in which this ordinance was conceived is flawed. Public comment and testimony was never allowed in the decision making process at the committee level. And now that is before the Council to vote. We may only squeak out a small comment before you rule with your iron fist. The county is selling a 2,400 square foot piece of land for $100 in this ordinance. Using that math, an acre would only cost about $1,800, well below the average cost of an acre in King County. I'm not sure who is making these deals for who, but it's not in the interest of the people. Also, we're losing as a county uh, money as a county because 5,500 taxpayers that supported King County operations will now be Bellevue taxpayers. We are cutting services, we're losing revenue, uh, and, our, and we are maintaining the high cost of the county elected officials who maintain increasing salary that is currently at 135000 and will continue to increase again and again until we stop it. In addition to these salaries, we pay for four, council me uh, four people on your staff for each council member in each position cost us about a quarter million dollars as a county because of all this. So as a county, losing these taxpayers uh, will never be addressed by us citizens because we don't have the opportunity at that committee level to bring up those two concerns, the very concerns I brought, that that council could have addressed and told me as a citizen, but now I only can do it in front of you before you vote for it. I'll never get a reply and I'll get a yay or nay through any of you guys. There's no public dialogue. You're acting like an authoritarian government telling us this is what we're going to do. If you want to say something about it, fine, but we're going to vote on it with no dialogue with you as a citizen. So, uh, Stand Up America has been coming for seven months now to have a once a month meeting where citizens can dress the full count, uh, council openly instead of being held to an agenda. But within that request, we've been asking the council to allow for open public testimony each committee, allowing citizens to, uh, time to speak about concerns within the committee that they can address. Currently, the committee does not require, nor do they typically allow, general public comment. We believe that there needs to be more public testimony and response from the council before the or this ordinance is passed. We demand that King County Council require the committees allow for free, open dialogue and discussion around this topic and others. The proof that this will not be heard again can be seen from the um, no, wrong one. But the proof that uh, we're not going to get our voices heard again is you're going to vote on it. It's going to get passed. We're not going to get a response to our concerns. And maybe we had other ideas that you will not hear because you did not allow for open public dialogue. So please engage us. And please engage the public in general and listen to us. And thank you, Joe McDermott, for watching and listening the whole time. I would like to give you credit for that. Everyone else, thanks for listening. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Zimmerman. Hi. Tyranny what is we have for us to rear, totally destroy us republic, destroy us constitution, destroy people and people dying from this, a million people dying. I told you before many times, you're more dangerous than Soviet Union, communist or German Nazi, who kill million and million. You kill million people too, only in different way. This is exactly what has happened, guys. 
we need come back to republic what is we lose. When we don't come back, what is we have in us constitution, you know what it means, like it exists for 200 years, nothing will be changed. Everybody knows this right now. Four year collapse, what is we have right now, show how system not working totally. So everything what is supposed to be right now, you're supposed to be listening to people. Is this not exactly happen? And you, for my understanding, council in King Country, probably only one organization what has never listened to people. We spoke to everybody right now what is possible in Seattle every day, and Bellevue has spoken many times. No one committee what is half you, most not one committee how, what is half you, never listen to people. And I give you example, committee what is under Katie Lambert, for example, cover more, 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 more important than what is can be for people. It's a human service, it's a housing, it's a judicial system, it's for ordinary people. Who will defend poor, disabled people, minority student, government? There's only one who can defend us against corporation who suck blood from us, from everybody. I'm senior citizen and for another few years will be another 30 million, we come to 80 million people who will protect us. Nobody. So guys, when you don't change basic, don't come back to America, what is we lose, we never will become back to condition what is we have before. We number one democratic country in the world for 200 years. Please, I come to America only for this reason. Because I believe in democracy, real democracy, in real constitution. So what is I see right now? Situation what is more dangerous than Soviet Union or German Nazi did before with Gestapo and KGB principle? We need to restore us republic without fundamental changes back, nothing will be changed. And one, almost one year ago, Thank when we start you talking, you promise us changes. Nothing happened for almost one year. Yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, now I would like to uh, ask Council Member Phillips to move this item. Thank you, Mr. Chair. And I'll uh, move at this time proposed ordinance 2012-0136. Thank you. Would you care to speak to it? I would, Mr. Chair. I'm just going to say a couple things up front before we get into the heart of what's before us. Um, first of all, this government was not formed by any member of the sitting member of the King County Council. It was formed over 40 years ago by the, the people of King County freeholders who brought forth a proposed charter to the people of King County, which was adopted in 1969. That charter laid out authorities for this council and this legislative body, which we've been uh, faithfully uh, carrying out ever since. Other responsibilities, authorities which have been given to us are provided under state law, again through the people's representatives as voted into the state legislature, and anything they passed giving us those authorities are also signed by the governor. So we are a duly constituted government uh, representing people who elect us to carry out those responsibilities, one of which is uh, to establish relationships between governments, in this case between King County and the city of Bellevue, over the annexation of unincorporated areas where the people have voted to annex, annex, them, annex um, themselves to an existing city to receive a higher level of service. So the proposed um, uh, ordinance today simply authorizes our executive to carry out the wishes of the people in those communities who want to move from uh, a government, uh, a local government provision uh, for King County to the incorporated areas of Bellevue. I'll get to more of that in a minute. So we are, Mr. Chair, as you know, author, um, uh, acting under uh, law, both passed by the people of King County and uh, representatives in Olympia, and we are authorized to carry this out, and we have done so with a complete and open, and in a complete and open manner, with approval by the voters uh, in those affected communities. So just to clarify things, a lot of assertions get made which are, are patently untrue, and I want to set the record straight and provide the context for our actions today.